I will get dressed and I will get to the storage unit and I'll show you what we find. This is the first time I've done it, so I'm not sure that I did it right. I did spend $160 on the unit. I'm, I'm very excited and very nervous too. Hopefully we find more than $160 worth of stuff. Okay, step number one, I have to stop at the bank and get cash for the cleaning deposit that I will get back as soon as I uh, finish up and have the place clean. And I need to stop at the post office to drop something off because I went yesterday and somebody had put a package in the package thing and clogged it up so that I couldn't get my package in. It was funny because there was another lady there right behind me and at the same time we both said idiots because they didn't check to make sure that they didn't clog up the machine. Um, so the thing I'm taking into the post office right now is a baseball cap, the Mariners baseball cap that I purchased at um, Value Village. I paid um, I think two dollars and 49 cents because I have uh, 30 percent off um, of my entire transaction so I sold it for um, $15 so pretty good return on my money I saw some of them going for like 22 so that's what I you know had in my mind but $15 I'm good with that so that was the first thing of my shop uh, thrift shopping day that has sold I'm gonna send that off to you. Here is my storage unit. I couldn't figure out what, let me see if I can point to it, what those things were. It's a creepy doll. Ooh, I can't contain my excitement. Let's get into it. Okay, let's do this first basket. So, um, a pair of uh, Converse tennis shoes, Still in very good shape, and guess what? They are my size, so I that is key. Then we have our first creepy doll, and she's pretty cool. Um, let's see, there's nothing written on the back of her neck, uh, but she does look old. Um, so that might be something. Well, okay, so I found one shoe and one Nike for the flop. Okay, basket number one wasn't that great. It even had a rock in it. I think it's a basket of uh, dirty clothes. In box number two, we have an odd uh, album. And it's, a, it's from Eddie Bauer. That doesn't make sense. Book. The other Converse tennis shoe. It does have a little something wrong with it though. Looks like they got these at Goodwill. Oh, I thought that might be a personal photo, but it's not. I think it's a paint by number thing. And got some little kid Legos. Okay, my first purse. It doesn't look like uh, any sort of name brand purse. And it's empty. That looks like a lid off of something. Oh my goodness, there's another rock. Okay, I found kind of a nice plate. Um, it's not cracked or anything. And the original price was $12.95. So that might be good. And hey, found a penny. I found a boxing glove. That's kind of cool. And this one has purses in it, so maybe we'll find more than a penny. All right, this is a little bit scary. I just opened that and uh, found a whole bunch of hypodermic needles. And I found information about something from the prosecutor's office, so. Uh, and and rehab so 
I'm going to be really careful about just jamming my hand into a box now. That's kind of cool, but nothing very valuable. Hey, Coldwater Creek. Not very fashionable. Battery charger. Okay, first the garbage bag. Looks like it is clothes and garbage. I'm starting to feel really horrible. Like I'm not gonna even get anywhere close to $160 in this unit. Um, besides finding hypodermic needles and rocks in every box. I'm serious. Look at this great and this whole thing is full of rocks. Um, most of the clothes I have found are torn up. Like, I don't know if they were ripping them up to make something else out of them, or if someone tore them all up in a fight. But I've got less than three boxes of stuff to take with me, and even that, I think, is garbage and then I've got three literal boxes of garbage and then a tiny handful of coins which are all gross too. Uh, this is not a good first experience. So the, the last bag had um, four older cell phones in it so at least at the very least I can scrap those. Um, it also had some I think three of the backup batteries, but then this bag is full of Air Jordan sneakers. They're worn, like when you look at the bottom of that one, but it, and I don't know how to tell if they are legit or fake. Uh, they're really, really worn. But if they're the right kind, maybe they uh, sell anyway. I don't know. Wait, here's a tag in here on something. Oh, a pair of Vans uh, slacks with a... Okay, so it's looking a little more you know, Nike Air. They look like they're in pretty good condition. Another pair of Nike Air. Okay, so that makes me feel a little better. All right, I'm at the end of the day. Um, I did get a whole bunch of change. Um, there's one big coin, but I don't think it's anything valuable. Um, I did at the end. I'm definitely going to make money on this unit. I don't know how much, but the, one of the very last things I found was this Nike bag um, with the tags still on, and it's in good condition. Um, and inside of it are some clothes with the tags still on. And then I have to take a trip to the police station because all of those those are all narcotics and this bag is full of hypodermic needles so I was very careful uh, and I called the pharmacy to see if they take stuff like that and she said I have to take them to the police station this is the dresser that I will either keep um, or give to my son because he needs a dresser or sell. It's in decent shape, so that's good. And then this will go to the dump. And I have no idea what in the world that is. Why would someone keep something like that in their storage unit? And then this is all the garbage. So that's a little disappointing. Um, 
this whole pile right here is recyclable cardboard. But there are one, two, three, four, five, five bags and two boxes of garbage. And then a bag of her personal stuff. There were, uh, there was even like a, a debit or credit card in there. Um, a driver's, a temporary driver's license. And there was stuff from all sorts of different people. So I don't know what was going on with this unit. But I was really worried to begin with. Let me get up here. Because the first boxes are all just junky crap that will either probably go in the trash or to Goodwill. Um, a lot of the clothes were cut up or torn up and there's going to be a lot that I have to throw away still uh, because they are cut up or shredded up. But then when I got to the back of the storage unit, that's where I found some nothing spectacular, but definitely sellable. And a couple pairs of nice new looking shoes and then some nice new looking clothes, just t-shirts, but t-shirts sell. So I guess half the load was junk and, oh, and I found some, um, ah, uh, I found some leather stuff too so excited about that you can tell I've been working hard look how red my face is my, on my neck from my very first storage unit I learned these are the things I learned one don't get discouraged because at the very beginning I was very discouraged and um, like I was almost to the point of tears but then I got to the end and I will definitely make money on this unit It'll take me some time. I'm going to have to put the effort into it, but I will keep you up to date um, if you're interested in being kept up to date on um, how much I sell um, and so when I make my money back and then what I get for profit. Um, so point number two, bring more garbage bags, bring more rubber gloves uh, because it was hard to work through stuff with my work gloves on. Even though I use the real thin um, work gloves, uh, still rubber gloves would have been better. And I went, you know, I broke a hole through one of the ends. And just because there was, I kept finding hypodermic needles in almost every purse that I opened up. And that was about it. They were dirty, filled with, like, you know, make, spilled makeup and stuff. And like, why do people keep things like that? Throw them away. But a hypodermic needle would be in there and bring a box cutter because I have all those boxes back there. And I mean, I can just smoosh them down with my feet, but it would have been nice to break them down. I don't know what else I learned, but it took me longer than I thought it would. And um, I should probably bring help with me next time because I had to call my husband and ask him to come because I didn't have enough time to get home, unload everything, oh, which I'm gonna have to go home and unload everything. Um, I got here about 11.30, 11.40, and it is like 4.40 right now. So I, t I took my time going through stuff because you have to look for paperwork. And there was paperwork, personal paperwork, mixed in with every bag of clothes, every box of garbage. So um, that that took a long time. So uh, I can, I'll be faster next time. But anyway... I did not have enough room in my truck for the garbage and the two dressers. When I saw the unit, I saw the one dresser and uh, I, I didn't realize until I got into it that there were two dressers. From the pictures, I thought there was less stuff and I thought it would all fit in the back of my truck. Anyway, I'm waiting for my husband to come so that he can, we can pack up the two dressers and the garbage into our little pickup. So I went to take the narcotics to the police station and online it did not say it was closed but it was closed and when I got out to go check I locked my keys in the truck. 
This is what happens when I do ventures like this. So now, ugh. So I had the hardest time getting rid of those drugs. I tried to go to the cop shop that because that was the closest uh, police facility to uh, at the storage unit and it was closed and I locked my keys in the truck <laughs> and so then I there was a fire station on the way home so I stopped there and they just got a letter today stating that they can no longer accept narcotics. So they wouldn't take them. And they, the, the only three places they had mentioned were on the north side of Spokane and downtown Spokane. And I live in the valley and I was on my way to the valley. I didn't want those in my truck, you know, all the way home and so I was going to stop at the hospital, the Valley Hospital, on my way home because uh, it's close and hope that they took it like the hospital on the north side and the hospital downtown. And I drove past a sheriff's car so I stopped and I gave them to her. She was happy to accept them. I feel much better not having two dozen bottles of narcotics in my truck. <laughs>